Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In previous tutorials I've drawn graphs using the Bezier pen tool and the function plotter and shown a few different ways of doing that. But in particular with uh, trig graphs like sine and cos I've realised that it's very handy if we have key points at uh, the start and the maximum and in the middle. For example these points, whoops, these points here. And one way to do that is to when we draw them using the function plotter ensure the following settings that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, if I take uh, those off and just show you in the cos graph again these key points are very handy for snapping purposes getting the graph to be positioned exactly where we want it. So I'll hide those and show you just the axes and show you how we can draw those graphs with five points. First uh, select the rectangle tool, drag out a rectangle and then under extensions, render, function plotter, and we type in the graph. I'll just use cos, uh, but you can type in sine, whatever you want. But I'll type in the number of periods, which is one. I usually just do one because I can join several later on after the graphing. And multiply the range by 2 pi, so that's 1 times 2 pi for the, for the x range, or the domain actually. And make the vertical range from negative 1 to 1. This is the key, five points in here. Click apply and close and I'll go to the select tool. If I select that and press N or select this icon here, you see I've got nodes at each of the key points where I want it in the middle, the minimum and the maximum. So I'll go back to the select tool and show you why that's useful. Under the fill and stroke or control shift you have to bring that up, I'll thicken that up and shift click a colour, give it a colour, red in this case. Now, because there are nodes in the middle, I can drag it down here and those middle nodes will snap, or one of them will first, to the path, which is the axis. I've got path snapping here, cusp nodes, which is sharp ends of graphs, and smooth nodes, which is the smooth max or min of a cos graph, depending on the graph. At the end of a cos graph here, it's a cusp node. In the middle, it's a smooth node. Sine graph uh, has a couple of smooth nodes in it and uh, cusp nodes at the end. Anyway. I can hold down control and drag that along and you'll see one of those cusp nodes snaps to the path of the axis. So it's easy to get things in the right position. Even I'll hold down control, moving things up, getting it to snap in that position might be convenient. So I like these five point graphs and of course with just five points the memory uh, use is not as intensive so the files are going to be smaller that you create. Now if I wanted to do several graphs I can click on that, control D, then control drag and across there we go. Uh, I could even do one more, control D, control drag and it will snap there. Now you can group them together, I'll just show you if I, uh, well I don't want to do a mark here, I don't want the X and the X axis there so I'll just click, shift click one at a time and if I control G to group uh, that's okay but notice if I do that, oh, actually sometimes it doesn't snap on the end, it is now but sometimes you have problems snapping. Now oh, it's behaving itself I think a bit better here. Control drag. Okay, that's alright. I had problems just before but um, you may want to join them permanently or you might want to just leave them grouped. I'll show you how you can join them permanently if you do have problems uh, with groups. Control U to ungroup them and again, look I'll use the marquee this time, select everything. If you see that something selected you don't want I'll just shift click the X there uh, shift click the O for the origin label. Now I think I've just got the graphs. You can check down here, yes, three objects or the three parts of the graphs. If I press N for the node tool, they're overlapping at these points here. So if I drag a marquee around here, and then click this join the selected nodes, that joins them permanently. Now I can drag them around, and they're not a group, it's just one object. You can see one path with 13 nodes in it, but they will have nodes at the right points. So I can drag it to snap in the middle here. I can control drag once I've done that to snap on an axis. I can even select this and I can change the frequency by dragging there. I can change the amplitude by shift clicking and, and shift dragging. Uh, if I just wanted to change one part of it, I can just drag that down to there and snap. You can do all sorts of things that are very convenient with those uh, nodes in the key uh, positions as I showed you. Anyway, um, I think that's quite a good uh, way of doing trig graphs. Probably my preferred method at the moment. 
Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, bye for now.